Anyway, here we are, Store Point Township, starting another two kilometre walk. And uh, we've got a few extra people with us today, as you can see. And of course, Benny. And our first point of call is the old schoolhouse. And uh, that's what's left of it. Not sure what this is. Whether it's a cellar or a collapsed mine shaft. There you go. Once upon a time, this was a school. All right, we've just come down there. And here, apparently, they did a uh, hydraulic mining or sluicing. Basically washing the soil down into a channel and looking for gold that way. It's actually recovered quite good. Normally these areas, when they've been sluiced, resemble a moonscape, but this one doesn't seem too bad. So yeah, I don't know if you how well you can make it out. So yeah. Right, we'll keep going. Okay, here we are. Keyans Creek. It's a little bridge. Just stop and get some photos of this. And Spencer's just up there on the high path. We're gonna take the longer path. Here we are at the Store Point Burial Ground. And I can see a grave. I'm sure there's heaps more. Look around, you can see divots, assuming maybe graves. And there's one here. Eighteen ninety four. Yeah, there we go. Don't know how many people are buried here. The sign may have actually said. I'll go and have a look. Okay, we're still here and see children's graves. I think Ian was about to entice us with some of his wisdom. Ian, go. I was just about to talk that often around this area they did notice a lot of um, ghosts, particularly around the cemeteries area, in the old photographs that they took. Oh, really? And sometimes there is evidence of it. Apparently. Oh, good. Yes, I don't think we'll get anything, but you never know, we'll have a look. And as you can see here, we have a small hut site, possibly just a tool shed. Maybe it was a house, who knows. Not much left. Alright, we continue. Coming up to another house site. This has actual path and everything leading up to it. It's quite... Must have been a reasonably significant structure in her day. So, as you can see, nice little effort on the path. Yeah, very interesting. That looks like where the fireplace was. Yeah, very good. Someone's made their own fireplace, slash fire pit. Very good. Now look down here, look like the more sluicing had taken place. I think it has. See down there. Here we are again, crossing McKean's Creek on our way back. This is one of two crossings. Don't get confused, there is two crossings. That's where we just come from. And that's up there is the last house site I saw. So we'll just keep going. Apparently there's a couple more hut sites, and I think that's about it for here. Anyway, right, get some photos and we'll move on. Right, as I was just walking in, I thought, oh, could this be a hut site? Nice and flat, and boom. That sign there, yes it was. Jimmy was on the corner there, you can see. And yeah, a lot of relics even, the looks of it. There, there is. Yeah, another hut site. Right, should we continue? And as I always like to point out, this is a mighty fine looking pack track that we're walking along. Well carved and still standing today. Obviously with a lot of help from 
um, four wheel drive clubs and uh, Aberfeldy ink. So yes, we're just now above the creek, the Keynes Creek. You can see it. Can you see me? Hey Spencer. And yeah, we're heading back now. Apparently the boys are going to fry up a sausage. I've eaten, I'm fine. Alright, 